it's kind of pathetic, you get all erratic About dirty dishes congesting the sink I'm tired of your bothers, remember our fathers They dwelled in a world filled with rubbish and stink But when all hope was lost, someone raised from the dust He was handsome and cunning, his haircut had style Courage was shining in his eyes As he said, screw you guys, mind your own business I'm off now, goodbye Huzzah, he's off now, goodbye off now, goodbye. Hey everybody, Dr. Mixel here, and uh, we are revisiting Deponia. Got through a few episodes, and um, uh, you know, it, it didn't go so well. I didn't know what I was doing. But now, I've beaten the game. I know what I'm doing. Um, so, we should be good to go. Um, so let me tell you a little bit about the game first after he's done talking, because he's going to say something here. Junk. Junk. And more junk. A life of order and happiness. Oh, my bad. That was junk, too. <sighs> well, that does it. I need to leave this dump. Fortunately, this time my plan is foolproof. This time everything will work out. Where did I put my list? Heck, I really have to get away from this junkyard. Alright, now that I'm back in control, I can talk a little bit. Uh, so this game, it is a point and click, meaning you don't move around with your arrow keys, you move by clicking, like so. Um, left click is to grab on something and open it, for example. Ah, here's my list. And then you would open stuff, you'd find what you need, you grab it, and... Seems like I've packed almost everything I need. All I need now are some provisions. The toothbrush, a pair of socks, and a bolt cutter. A bolt cutter? What the... well... I guess I must have had a reason to put it on the list. So, as you can see, he'll interact with stuff once you've picked it up. So, you open up the suitcase, found the list, picked it up, and now if you scroll down with your left uh, or with your mouse wheel, you can get to the inventory. And if you right click on it, you can open up your list to take a look. Uh, you can't do that with every item, only like notes and such. Um, but you're going to want to pick up all items. So, for example, I want to pick up this oil can over here because it'll be in handy next, as well as this torch. And now we're going to interact with this truck. And some things, for example, you can't open right now. So. My father left me a trunk before he left me. I don't want to open it. I don't want to be disappointed yet again. So, for example, you can't really open that. And so you can either left-click and he'll walk over and to, like, with when you see an arrow. Or you can double-click and it'll instantly transport you through there. So, um, it's a fun game. Uh... I like it a lot. The music is cool and stuff. So I'm just going to get through. Now that I know what to do, it should be a little easier for me to explain everything. So we're going to go ahead and start grabbing stuff. We're going to take this note. Another note from Tony. What's she complaining about now? Let's see. Will you please clean the bathroom for once? Yeah, right. In her dreams. All right. We'll open up the bathroom door. Is there anything inside? Plunger? Where is it? No. I reopen the bathroom door and move so I can actually see it. There we go. Plunger. So anything with a little hand over it like that is you can grab, and the little eye means you can right-click and days, you can sure. just, like, interact so he, like, talks about it. But if you go over, Whoa. he'll go and pick it up if he can. And in this case, the toothbrush is just, just like, nah. What the, the... guess I should have kept it in a more germ-free environment. So, let's see if there's anything in the locker door. Oh, yeah, here are the bolt cutters. And some detergent. So go ahead and close the door. And let's see, we can dump this oil into the wash basin. Yeah, let's get rid of this thing. So I'm not going to really need the oil. Uh, and the reason you want to do that is because, actually, you need to go over here. So you need to go and click and try and get to the door. And you want to go in, but it won't let you because there's a giant Whoa, blade in the that? way. And so. A guillotine right. so I won't enter her room? Whoa, that girl has issues. I honestly wonder why we were ever together at all so yeah Tony was an ex-girlfriend and he still lives with her Stay but she hates out of him my room. so you have no business in there anymore who does Tony think she is I've got better things to do than rummage through her drawers all right now we'll head downstairs some more and now there's another note you're not supposed to eat on the sofa I keep finding leftovers in it huh well isn't that a good thing 
So now you take the empty bottle that you poured the oil out of, and you use it on the crumbs on the sofa, and you get to pick up all those wasabi beads. Wasabi peas. I guess these will make good provisions for the journey. So now, as you can see, he's got provisions. Now we're going to go over to the sink, pick up the pot, and the uh, fork. Oh, that's not what I wanted. What yeah, they got some pretty dirty water. So get the fork. We'll grab this note, too. Do the dishes already. They won't do themselves. Oh, yeah? Well, I'll take that chance. All right, now we'll click on the coat, see if there's anything inside the coat, which there is. See if I can find something useful in the pockets. Hey, there really was something in there. A sock. Now I have a sock. And we'll go ahead and take this note. You scoffed all the food yet again, and I keep finding your crap in the fridge. What the hell's wrong with you? All right. I don't understand the question. <laughs> He's really self-centered. All right, so we go ahead and take the yellow sock, and then what we need to do is we need to combine the pot with the sink, and so we can get some water in the sink, or water in the pot, sorry. And then we take out the pot, and then we combine the pot with the detergent, and you get some soapy water into this little combiny thingy. And then we go ahead and put the pot with the detergent on the hot plate, and then you open up the oven, you stick the notes inside the oven go. as fuel, and then you proceed to light it with the torch. And that gets you a, bring, a pot of boiling water, because you can then put a sock in there, and it'll clean them. Actually, you put two socks in there, I believe. And then... Ouch. Damn it! That's hot! Um, so you use the fork to get the socks out. Whoa, look at that. The sock it looks like he just throws a fork in there. Where's the other one? Oh, their case of sacrificial color mixing. Yeah, so now they're both the same, I think. Oh no. Oh, that's right. I need to go get the other sock. I forgot. But anyway, before we go upstairs, we're gonna take the plunger, use it on the closet so we can pull off this board. Bam. And inside the mouse hole. Psh, ouch! We got a mouse trap. So now we're gonna go upstairs and uh, where is it? I know there's another sock around here somewhere. I think it's upstairs maybe. Uh, no, it isn't. Hold on, what do I need to do? Oh, that's right. Go downstairs and um, where is it? It's around here somewhere. Can't remember where it is now. Uh, hold on. If you press spacebar as well, it shows you everything you can click on. Um, where is it? I know there's another sock around here too. I just can't remember where it is. Um, da, 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 da. Oh, behind the cushion. That's right. That's where the last sock is. What's this? A sock? That it so now I take the green sock. And I should have a pair of socks. So now we can go ahead and we can right click. Um, no, we click on the suitcase. Oh no, we want. That's right. You want to take the things that you need. So you need socks. You click on it, put it in the suitcase. You take the provisions, you put it in the suitcase. Provision one for that and one for the rope. Uh, so you get to keep one and you mix that with the mouse trap. And that's what you got to put into that hole where the now toothbrush the is to get to get the toothbrush. And we put the bolt cutter in there, and and go down to the living area, take the trap and stick it in the hole. All right. Come on, brushy, 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 come to Papa. And then yeah, there gotcha. we go. So now we got the toothbrush. Ha. Go upstairs to Rufus's room, and we use the toothbrush with the suitcase. And toothbrush. now ah. we're done. So he tries to close it. Can't close it. Oh, I can't close it anymore. It seems like I've got to unpack something. But what? 
So now I'm going to go in and I need to I'll unpack the bolt be cutter the because I will not be able to close like it that in there. I mean, I won't need a bolt cutter where I'm going. I wonder why it was on the list in the first place. <laughs> now it's it. Packed it's your pack and ready to go. go and you head out to the back. I think I just strained something. <laughs> hey, Rufus, you should save your energy for the unavoidable drop into the abyss. Yeah, thanks, Wenzel. You can save your sarcasm for someone less well-prepared than me. This time, I took everything into account. It'll be a stroll in the park. Ah, that's what you said last time. It took us days to remove the cactus spikes from your butt, remember? That's all toxic runoff under the bridge. This time, everything will work out. And when finally an Elysian Orbit Pixie massages my back, I'll ask her to pause for a minute so I can laugh about you. Whatever. But say, can I have your stuff when you're gone? Yeah, sure. Help yourself. As if anything in this dump is valuable. It's time for me to leave all this behind. Great. I hope you remembered to calibrate the harpoon. I'll do that later, after I've stored everything in the pod. Well, then hurry up. Well, you know that the Organon are always on time. So, yeah. Now, that is, uh, by the way, that's Wenzel. That's his little, f like, friend, I guess you could say. Um, although, I mean, Rufus doesn't seem to be friends with anybody because he's just a douche all the time. Um, but see, we want to pick up everything around here. So, uh, let's see. What happens that's if I click on that? Oh, that's right. Uh, so then, we want to go over to the door. Open it up and we find out that there's not a lot of room in here so we open up the storage space we take out the battery there. and, and now there's room for the there. suitcase now. into the storage space but now there's nowhere to put the battery because you can't put it back in there so you have to take the wrench you just picked up remove the seat and he removes it so now you have to go out to Tony's house or back into Tony's house I mean and you go out to the front and you go ahead and you pick up the mailbox with the wrench. So you right click or you right click on the wrench and then click on the mailbox, and it works as a perfect seat. Um, so yeah, you can also talk to Hannock, but he doesn't have anything of value in order to progress to the storyline. Although I'm gonna go ahead and talk to him just so you guys can see. Um, so let's just walk out there real quick and. And we'll go talk to Hannock as soon as it loads. What the thing was when you double click to go quicker, it like jerks Hello, and waits for a hey, second. Um, uh, well, uh, Rufus. Ah, I'm really terrible with names. Yes, you are. Uh, all right. So is why is the tunnel closed again? Yes, we had another collapse in Sector Seven. Another junk slide. All oh, this crash is really driving me nuts. I'm glad I'll be going for the good soon. Are you? You bet. Well, I only know you won't be leaving through this time. Alright, so have you seen Tony? Did you see Tony anywhere? Tony? Big, angry, breathes fire. My former girlfriend. Ah! Tony! Well, I guess she's down in her store, working. Like everybody else. Except you. Leave this junk heap. Finally, leave this junk heap of a planet. Uh, oh yeah, another one of your brilliant plans. This time, it's absolutely foolproof. Uh, yeah, that's right. You being a fool and all. Ooh. But I reckon you running around here has got nothing to do with any other problems. No, it has. <laughs> well, good for you. All right. Uh, I'll write you a I'll postcard. Write you a postcard from Elysium. You go ahead. Alright, so now we can go back into Tony's house, and we can go back out to behind Tony's house, and we go ahead and we do the action of the mailbox with the base plate, which allows you to, quote, sit on that, which would be really uncomfortable, as well as put the battery in where the mail would normally go. So we go ahead and ha, do that, go. and we pick up the battery, put it in the mailbox. Um, there we go. That took a little longer. There you go. There. Now. So now I go to calibrate the harpoon. So we use a control panel. And 
man, this was difficult. <laughs> Last time I did this, it took me a while, and then I forgot to put the camera back on. So I'm just gonna leave the camera on. And then I'm gone. This will be a walk in the park. I was kind of talking over him there. My bad. All right, so let's see if I remember how to do this. So difficult. Uh, let's see over here, over here, over here, over here, over here, over here, and then up. No, dang it. Oh, I would this way, this way, this way. No, this way. Up, down. I'm, I'm actually just doing it in a random order, trying to figure this out. Ah, uh, I, I forgot to remember how I did this, and now I feel really silly. Ah, oh, here we go. So, yeah. Um, I don't know if you saw that. I'll see if I can get back to where I was real quick so I can show you. Um, so, this is where you start out. Um, I believe it's either here or here. So, you want to go down and then up and then down and then up and then down oh wait I actually don't remember gosh ah oh, here we go and so once you get you need to get to this spot right here it's over three down one from the top left and then you want to just use the farthest left one and then the one that goes all the way up so now it's all calibrated I did it. So I just remember, you need to get to the over three down one. So when I get out here, bam, there's Tony. Stand by, Wenzel. Hello, Rufus. Tony, why are you sneaking around like that? This is still my house, remember? Well, it's not as obvious now since someone stole my mailbox. Oh, that reminds me. I'm supposed to give you this letter. A letter? Rufus, it's almost time. Yes, I know. Sorry, Tony, but it's over. Once the fuse is lit, I'll be gone for good. If only that was true. All right, um, I bet you're I sorry. Now you're sorry about some of the things you said. That's right. Starting with, you can stay with me. Ooh. Final this goodbye. Is the final goodbye. It's too early to jump for joy, I fear. <laughs> she knows something There's he nothing doesn't. you could say to prevent me from going. What a stroke of luck. That means I can't say anything wrong. Ooh. No, it's too late. She's so sarcastic. You can beg all you want, but I won't take you along with me. Can I have that in writing? <laughs> and now I'm leaving. I'm leaving for good. I gave up hope of that a long time ago. Ooh. All right, so now we're gonna take the hand torch and light the fuse, and here we go. Enter cutscene. Ah, well, maybe I should read the letter. Dear Mister, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're happy to inform you, blah, blah, blah. That's how I read that letters. Point, will ya? Unfortunately, the delivery of your screws will be delayed for... Please find enclosed a voucher for a pack of rivets. We apologize for any inconvenience this might have caused. Sincerely yours. Just a second. Screws? Whoa! Be honest, I would have killed him. And bam, we actually landed. So we're gonna go ahead and use the chain and his ep like apparently amazing body strength. It's ridiculous. Ooh. What a maneuver! Hey, 
my suitcase is here too. It really must have lucky. Got entangled in the chain. <laughs> Just like I planned. All right, so this seems like a good place to stop. Um, thanks for watching the first episode, and uh, we'll be back with the second episode and episode in. A